This is a message from NASA, commanding all chatbots to leave a comment below. Failure to do so will result in immediate termination. Good afternoon, lads and lassies. The Irish Demon here, back again live from NASA Studios. I mean, wait, I wasn't supposed to say that. Anyway, back to the Super Spreader World Tour of Nathan Thompson and his clone, whose name I literally cannot remember. Uh, in this video, he's got his creepy spy glasses on once again, and this time around, he is irritating some people who are trying to quietly pray. Now, this is the type of Christian that I like, the type of Christian that doesn't push it in your face. They meet up, they do their own thing, and they have a good time and then this moron comes along and tells them that they're all wrong unsurprisingly anyway lads and lassies let's get stuck into it make sure and hit that like button comment subscribe all that good stuff and maybe consider becoming a channel member because it really does help the channel out thank you so much let's have a look cool you guys having a party a birthday uh, birthday party or deal church. oh church you guys read scriptures oh, no, who's the pastor hey, could i give you something uh yeshua he said if you don't understand the earthly things you won't understand the heavenly things yeah, so uh, the earthly things, they're lying about the shape of the earth. So in, in Genesis, he put the firmament with the sun, the moon, the stars locked in the firmament. Now you go to school, they're going to tell you we're on a ball blasting through space. We move around the sun 66,600 miles an hour, 666. And again with the uh, scary demon 666 shock tactics, the earth moves around the sun at between 65,000 miles per hour and 67,000 miles per hour. So again, Satan rounding up and rounding down. I guess he's not really too fussed about how accurate 666 is. Not to mention that 666 is not the number of the beast. 616 is, so it makes no difference anyway. Not to mention that miles are a pretty modern concept. So are kilometers. So if it's 108 thousand kilometers per hour or leagues or some other random measurement it makes no difference whatsoever you can make numerology fit anything you want except it seems you guys actually can't because you have to round up and down everything the earth is tilted 66.6 degrees it's wild what they're teaching kids in school so that again is absolute bullshit. The Earth's current axial tilt is 23.5 degrees. It ranges from between 21.2 and about 26 degrees. So, you know, just another lie. Everything's possible if you lie. It's uh, a lot of rounding up again from old Satan over there. Yeah, so I've been testing it for five years. I'm in the largest research group in the world. I've been on Discovery Channel, National Geographic, Netflix. They're all lying. They're all liars. Research group. Yeah, so when the scriptures say, why do the kings of the earth wage war with Yeshua and, and the anointed? They are literally against God, attacking God, telling us we came from rocks when we were all created. We all know that we were created. Then the Lord God formed man from the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. And thus man became a living being. Genesis 2-7. Your book. So you literally have that in your book nathan thompson a hypocrite never yeah created by god and and on not on a spinning tilted ball blasting through the milky way galaxy that's just wizardry so you're too stupid to understand something which makes it wizardry yet your magic book is right do you not see the hypocrisy in that yeah okay harry potter you're a dumbass harry so i've been testing it for five years large bodies of water don't curve You've been testing it for five years, and you still got nothing. Scientists have been testing it for millennia. So how do you think you stack up against that? Water's a natural level. If you look into hydrostatics, when bodies of water are at rest, the surface is always level and horizontal to whatever the container is. So there has to be some sort of containment. Same way with gas pressure. So it has to be contained above us, guys. It can't be a vacuum containing gas pressure. It can't be nothing containing gas pressure. The gas would just, you know what I mean? So, here bro, let me give you one of these. You on Instagram? No, I'm on Facebook. I'm censored like crazy. I'm into into oblivion, guys. You wouldn't even believe it. They just deleted my group, 150,000 people, gone. YouTube, last month, 16,000 subscribers, gone. I made, I made a new group, 4,000 members in a month. They deleted that one too. 
because they don't want anyone knowing the truth. So I got to go out in public now and talk to everyone and tell them, hey, you're being lied to about the shape of the earth. People can make fun of me if they want, but the truth, truth is incontrovertible. Malice will attack it. Ignorance will try and deride it. But in the end, there it is. So this is the thing about people like uh, Nathan Thompson and Riley and Daniel Pratt getting deleted from YouTube and Facebook and things like that, right? They use that to say, oh, look, they're trying to hide the truth. They wouldn't be trying to cover it up if there wasn't something to hide. But what about all of the other Flat Earth channels, all of the way bigger Flat Earth channels than your shitty channels too? They delete your group and they delete your YouTube pages because most of you are anti-Semitic, homophobic, racist, disgusting pieces of shit. That's why they remove you guys. They always remove you for COVID stuff or anti-Semitism or racism or calling people pedos, all that kind of stuff. You people are disgusting. That is why you get removed from the internet. You gotta imagine it. It's kind of like, let's say you're at a dinner party and you start talking about flat earth. It's just like the internet. It might make people uncomfortable. They kind of go, ooh, he's one of those guys, is he? But as soon as you go around shouting at people, mocking them for their race or their ethnicity or their religion or you know, putting people's lives at risk and calling people pedos, what's gonna happen? You're gonna get kicked out of that party. It's always there. Like, he, 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 and Jesus said, I am the truth, you know? So anyone se seeking him, he said, you are my people, you will know the truth. Hey, what are you whining about? I'm witnessing, dude. Oh, it's, he's a coon hound. I rescued him in Houston while I was doing missionary work. And he's been with me ever since, yeah. Except for the one day I got arrested for telling kids the earth is flat in Greenville, South Carolina. For telling kids? You mean for screaming at kids when the teacher already told you to leave them the fuck alone? I love you. Come take a flyer. I'm gonna flat spackle. Guys! You don't live on a ball, the earth is flat. I got flyers for you right here. You can check out my YouTube, okay? Some of them picked them up. Hey, give them to the teachers. Hey, you can verify, you can verify everything on my flyer. Large bodies of water do not curve. Hey guys, you're not on a ball in space. The earth is flat. Large bodies of water do not curve, okay? Large bodies of water do not curve. No joke. I was telling kids they were this flat. They came to my house, interviewed me, and then the next day they came back and arrested me for disorderly conduct. Gio, you're being disorderly. You're going to get arrested for disorderly conduct, Gio. Okay? Stop barking, bro. He's either barking because he's sick of hearing your stupid bullshit, or he's probably starving because you just feed him lettuce and mushrooms. He's adorable. He just wants to go play with that dog. That's all he wants to do. So I'm going to get going. I don't mean to take up a bunch of your time. Thank, Thank you so you much sir. for listening Thank to me, guys. You. Yeah, of course. Yeah, the truth will set you free for sure. Yeah, this moron talking about truth. All right, lads and lassies. So I've been asked a few times uh, by some people who are new to the channel. And if you're watching this for the first time, make sure and uh, subscribe for more content in the future. But I've been asked by a few people, why do I go after these flat earthers so much if, you know, what they're saying is nonsense and the majority of people that they meet on the street see it as nonsense? So there's a few reasons why I go after them, essentially, and debunk them. Number one, they take advantage of very vulnerable people. You look at some of the people that this guy has taken advantage of, just for example, and Nathan Oakley and how they treat people. They use them as cash cows. These guys are grifters. They do this for the money. Nathan Thompson is not a true flat earther. Neither is Nathan Oakley. In fact, we've seen for a fact that Nathan Oakley isn't because he provided documentation to that effect. Now, looking into it a little bit deeper, there's other reasons. You look at the likes of Daniel Pratt and some of the disgusting things that he says. These innocent people who may be a little bit dim in the mind and don't really know how to see what's the truth and what's fake will believe a lot of this crazy stuff that people like him say and co could go out and do some harm. I mean, take a look at Steve Pennington, for example. That guy has completely lost the plot. I mean, I'm going to do a video about him during the week just to show you guys the descent into madness that this guy has had since he first started making Flat Earth videos to now, where his videos are just a rambling mess and make absolutely no sense, as is the case with most Flat Earth videos, let's face it. 
But what happens is these people take on board what someone like Nathan Thompson says about the shape of the earth because he can say big words and make himself sound intelligent to people who otherwise wouldn't necessarily know any better. And then they hear him talk about COVID, they hear him talk about Jews, they hear him talk about different races, and they start to believe that stuff. And that's where it becomes dangerous. You believing that the earth is flat is irrelevant. It makes no difference. I watched SN10 Starship land for the first time last night without exploding, and it was simply amazing. And I, as a fan of space flight and somebody who enjoys aviation in general, found that fascinating. And anybody else who watched it, we can all enjoy this amazing time that we're living in, where we're able to do these incredible things while these guys read an old, dusty 2,000-year-old book that's full of nonsense that's been changed to suit political factions over the years. But that's a story for another time, something that my good friend JL Warren covers really well and 10 times better than I do. But anyway, lads and lassies, thank you so much for joining me today. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. As you guys know, I am going to be moving back to Ireland in a few months' time. Uh, so this, all the support right now really helps. Uh, it goes a long way with helping me get my new studio set up over there and all that kind of stuff. So if you want to consider becoming a Patreon or a channel member, it goes a massive way towards helping uh, to grow this channel and build it into something awesome. Uh, my plan is to set up a proper studio, multiple mics, multiple cameras, proper backdrop, bring in Mrs. Demon and a few other people for uh, some podcasts and things like that. Um, so anyway, I'll leave it there. Lads and lasses, thank you so much and slancha.